Hey everybody, it's Clone Clocks999. Welcome back for more Dream Factory Heart Pounding Panic. In the last episode, we did Chapter 5 as Imagine. And in this episode, we're going to be doing Chapter 6 as Lena. But first, we have to get our data back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll start off at the beginning of Chapter 6. Chapter 6! Another quicksand level, huh? Alright, page 16. Let's go. Already got a return of these jerks. It's a desert level. Another one of these. Uh... Well, she... Wow. I... All because I missed with the freaking... Uh... I'm so good at finishing my sentences now, aren't I, guys? Okay, let's head in here. There's a shy guy in here, but there's also a magic lamp in here. So you want to take the magic lamp, to get the heart, you want to take the magic lamp, uh, here, I believe. Not- What was- Why did I throw it? I meant- I meant to just place it on the ground. Here we go. Seriously, why did I throw it? Well, I guess that confirms that you can't f put the magic lamps in the quicksand, or slow sand. Because, well, actually, it was quicksand because it goes, actually pulls you in a lot faster. I, are you kidding me? This isn't where the... Oh, wait a minute. This... Oh, wait, never mind. I think it's actually, uh, I think it's on that, uh, carcass right there. A rib cage. It looks like. It looks like. Tell me, it doesn't look like bones. Seriously. I. Actually, out of curiosity, what happens if I put the door? Okay, never mind. Yeah, it was here. My bad. Uh, this that thing's gonna start sinking into the into the slow sand. Uh, so you want to grab it before it goes down. Okay. Uh, what have we in here? We got once again, shy guys. And the face. What? What else am I supposed to do with the face? And it's the same thing twice in a row. Why even bother letting me go down on these pipes if or these vases if they're gonna... If you're just gonna be the same thing over and over. Okay. I... Uh, here is a pumpkin. Here we got another pokey. Uh, oh wow. Uh, here we want to pick up the magic lamp. We want to avoid that pansier. That is not avoiding that pansier. Okay, uh, stress one more time. Come on, we're Lena. This should be easy. Place it down here, 
And here's the heart. Now we head in here. What? Look at all these pipes, man. Or these vases. I don't want to go down every single one of them, but at the same time, if I don't, everybody's gonna ask what's in them, so let's go. Oh, actually, I think this one's a bit different. I, okay, I thought there was a one-up in this one. Uh, this one's actually a trap because there's uh, a cobra under it. Okay, this this confused me at first, but there's actually um, there's actually a sand here that you pick up. Yeah, picking Lena was a good choice. Oh, this is the one that had the one up in it. Uh, I, I must have been thinking of an earlier world. Okay, it's virtually just the same stuff over and over again. So I'm just gonna tell, take you guys to where you're supposed to go. Uh, I believe it's this one. No, it is not this one. I think it's the one next to it. Yeah. You really should do this as Papa. He can do this, like, really fast. Uh, is Fanto ever in this? I want to look around and see if I can dig up Fanto. Uh, no, I don't think he's here. I think it's just the key. Alright, hurry up and grab the key. And there he is. Ow. Okay. I, right, you can't duck out of the way of projectiles in this game. All right. This burrito is actually green, not gray, but they're act, but they're part they're actually part of the same color palette, which is odd because I'm pretty sure what how did that not might be an idea just to go up here maybe <laughs> you know a few years ago I asked uh, my mom and my dad uh, what uh, actually wait Actually, wait, no, that question's not relevant for this game, so, uh, save it for later. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, man, I was hoping I'd get five, three cherries in the first one. Chapter 6, 2! Alright, now this stage is actually kind of interesting. Um, grab that pumpkin before you go. You gotta, you actually gotta ride on the Albatross. I actually thought that was kind of, this was kind of cool. Uh, why well, I suggested grabbing the pumpkin because there's a pan seer there. Uh, I don't know if you can, uh, pick up the Albatross. I'm not really going to go on my way to press B and find out, but uh, right here, here's a magic lamp. And here's a coin. Uh, and the heart. And I don't think there's actually only one heart in this stage. Uh, the thing about this is, um, there's pumpkin here. Uh, 
The Alatos that you rode on actually does not come back, so I guess pretty much you gotta like you gotta take a death. Um, I let's see if we can actually pick up the Alatos. Oh no, we can't pick him up. Oh yeah, you pretty much you just gotta take a death if you're gonna get that heart. Uh, no, 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 you come back here. That's, that's what, that's why I think Lena's the best character, because she, uh, because she can float. You can grab that, uh, pumpkin on the way if you want to, but I don't really think you necessarily need it. I guess if you want to throw it something, throw it at something that's about to come at you, you can. Whoa, uh, okay, that was close. Yeah, and this is actually already the end of the stage. This, uh, this stage was surprisingly short. Uh, for the first hit, I would just recommend dropping it on her head. So the first two hits are kinda easy. Uh, last one's a bit tricky. If you did it the way I did, but we did it anyway. Yeah, that was it. Come on, I feel like I deserve three cherries there. Chi after six, three! All right, here we go. This actually, this is 6-3, right? Yeah, uh, this actually is one of my more favorite, uh, themings. Uh, Magic Lamp is right here. You, uh, you wanna take it here. Put the door there. Right, what? Whoa, uh, that was close. And we're getting a lot of flickering there. And there we go. That's there, that's where the heart is. Really early in the stage. Hello, Pokey. You know, they're actually, well, bomb. They're actually called Pokies because uh, they move slow and they poke you. The poke part makes sense, but why, why is, uh, what does being slow have to do with being called a Pokey? Is it just because it's like really pokey and really, I don't know. Someone explain to me. Okay, the next heart is actually not that far ahead. Um, but, uh, it's actually a little bit interesting. So, put that there. There's actually the bomb layer. There's another bomb right here. Uh, shoot. I can't run. Um. This guy's getting on my nerves. What? Sure. Okay. Okay, now he's not going to bother us. Okay. So, right here. Right here. I believe this is the this is where our magic lamp is. So you just want to not pl pull that out. You have to bomb out these blocks accordingly. And... Just make sure you don't. Know, just make sure you get the get the area where you're gonna get the, at the heart. Just follow the order I'm doing, and there you go. That's it. Here's the lamp. Uh, no, no, actually, it's a. Uh, let's put a here. Okay, pretty sure most of these are going to be bombs, I don't know. Actually, there might be a one-up in one of these. Let's check them all. Gotta check them all. Wow. Now we're heading into the sky. 
Uh, this part can be a little bit annoying just based on the hoopsters. Did I, did I already forget their name? Okay, let me get on this. Okay, jeez. Oh, this. Okay. I don't remember, hey, I don't remember there being a snippet here. And it's yellow. Or light green. Whatever. Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay. I think the hoopsters move faster when when uh, you're on the same vine as them, or beanstalk. I guess if I guess if they're, I guess if they're come, I guess if they're coming from the ground or just a tangible platform, they would be beanstalks. But if they're hanging from the bottom, they'd be vines. It's kind of like how pointy rocks from the from the floor are. Are stalagmites and pointy rocks from the ceiling are stalactites, which is actually something I didn't know um, until I uh, uh, like I I learned about the stalagmite thing, a stalagmites thing from a uh, Chikikandre's Super Luigi Galaxy LP. It was when he fought uh, Boulder Geist, um, and uh, wait a minute, <laughs> okay. Uh, and I learned about the stalactites thing during uh, uh, the Game Salmon's video on uh, 400 Years, which is a nice little indie flash game I recommend you go check out. Now right here, check it out. It's a pyramid in the sky. I thought this was pretty cool. Now you head in here. Oh, my thumb, my thumb kind of hurt. Or it's because, I'm, because of the D-pad. I swear, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to be playing a game with the D-pad and it's going to give me a blister. I feel like it's less likely to happen with like a PlayStation game, but I don't know. Uh, okay. Um, to make this easier on my easy on myself, I'm just going to use the. Uh... What is this? Seriously, it's like I bet it's like some kind of Japanese mask, but I don't know what it is because I'm just a stupid American. But anyway, there you go. Headed here. Is it gonna be a different boss? Uh, no, it's actually, uh, Tri... Tri... Tri Clyde. Jeez. Remembering the na the names of the bosses is, uh, really important. So, he, I believe he still only takes, uh, three hits. Um, but, uh, you... But if you... I don't know, if you... Oh, jeez. If you, uh, leave, uh... If you miss uh, with them, they kind of just fall. So I don't know what happens if you run out of these thi uh, run out of these things. What? There we go. Wow, game, that's a really good place to put that. Okay, bonus chance. Okay, there we go. Uh, we've got the final chapter unlocked, which next time on Dream Factory, uh, Heart Pounding Panic, we're going to take on as good old mama. So, uh, see you guys then.